Hi, everybody. We're still missing you at the J, but we'll be back soon, I promise. So today I have a standing class for you. This would be for people that take power to remember when we're at home, we need to have plenty of space. And today we're not using any equipment but a countertop. I don't want you doing this with a chair um, that might slip on you. It needs to be a solid, solid piece of furniture, but your countertop is really best. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate with. When I move, you're going to see my back. There's no way around it because we have to turn to the other side. But there's so many great things that we can do just at our home. Make sure that you have your tennis shoes on today, that you have water. And if anything would change in the way you're feeling, please make sure that there's some place that you can sit out of the way so you don't trip, but that you can sit down if you need to, okay? These are short little workouts. It's not a full workout. It's about 30 minutes tops. And we're going to do the best we can to have a really good time today. So thank you for joining me. Let's march it out. I'm Janelle. I'm the Parkinson's coordinator at the J. If I don't know you already, welcome. March. Holding on with a hand to the countertop, your left hand. I'm facing the camera, so it's actually my right side but it looks left to you. So that's what we do when we're mirroring. March it out. Big moves now. Pump the opposite arm. Five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna power up with just one side. So hold on tight. Step a little bit wider with those legs and bend forward and power up. Squeeze, send those hips back for 10. Nine, squeeze the shoulder blades. Three, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and march again. Big pumps to that arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're going to step wide, power step. Out and in, reach and in, 10, hold on, 9, hold on, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, reach, 1, and step it in. Now, march again, pump that arm, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now here comes your power rock variation. You're gonna step that right leg out and reach with that left arm and bring it in. So there's your power rock. You're still holding on. Reach. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and march. Big moves. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to power twist. So we're going to take those legs wide again. You're going to twist towards your countertop, tap it, bring that knee in, and open. Ten, open, nine, twist on that toe, make sure you have your tennis shoes, hold tight, five, four, three, two, and one. Now guess what? Anything that we've done on this side, we're going to rotate around. And you can see my back. I'm going to look over my shoulder at you. You're going to look straight ahead when you're doing this, okay? So make sure you can see your computer or whatever device you are watching easily on this side as well. Let's march it. Ten. Hold tight. Hold with that right hand. Pump the left arm. Five. Four, are you ready to step? Three, 
two, here we go. Step one and in. Hold on to your countertop. Step and in. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Head up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And march. Here come those power ups. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one legs. And now power up. Squeeze. Ten, nine, butt back. Hold on to your countertop. Five, four, three, two, and one, and march. Pump that arm. Five, four, three, two. Now, here's that power rock. Reach nice and long towards those counters. Twist the toe and pull it in. Reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. Five, four, three, Two, and march it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and here comes that power twist. Legs wide, open up, turn that toe, tap your countertop, open and close, squeeze. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, rotating around, both hands on your countertop. You're going to take them wider than your shoulders. Walk those feet back so they're hip distance apart. And we're going to add just those push-ups, chest to that countertop, squeeze the blades down and up. Watch your face. You've got to hold on tight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, chest leads the way, four, three, two, and one. Walk the ski back up, take a break. We're gonna do one more set of push-ups. Get ready. Three, two, step back again. Arms wide, elbows bend, and chest. Chest. 10, nine, breathe. Try to let the whole body move together. Don't rock those hips around. Chest leads the way. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Walk back up. Rotating now. So, left hip, left hand on that countertop. Right arm's going to come out to the side with the legs. So, hold it tight. Standing nice and tall. Let's start some legless or leg taps. If all you can do is tap out, that's fine. If you can, you're going to shift the weight to that left leg and bring the right leg out with the right arm and reach. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side of your foot leads the way. Four more. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. Now you're going to go to the front. Just start with the leg. Keep the arm out to the side. So to the front, down, front, down. If you just want to step forward and back, you can. Reach, reach. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reset now. Heel leads the way to the back wall. Arm out to the side again. Heel leads the way. I have a dog in the video again. I'm sorry. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring it in. Now we're going to turn this into that power step. So when we power step forward, make sure that right foot comes forward, shift the weight now off the left heel, and then come back and bend forward, straightening that leg, and then bring it back together. So let's do it to tempo. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now shift back and up. Shift back and up. Put the weight in that left heel. Right toe comes up. Reach. 4, Three, two, and one. Let's rotate around now. Same thing on the other side. So that left leg now is your lead leg. Right hand holds the countertop, right hip to the countertop, arm out to the side. So the first thing you're gonna do is just lift that leg and bring it in. Let the arm go with you, out, and in, side your foot leads. If you just need to step instead, that's fine. But hold on to the countertop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and set it down. Take a break. Now you're going to go to the front. Arms going to stay out to the side. Kick to the front and in. Lift. It's not really a kick. It's a lift. Leg lift. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Set it down. Now the leg's going to come back. Arm stays out to the side. Lift tall. Kick to the back. Shut the door. Hold. Hold on to that countertop. Try not to lean. Stand up tall. If you feel funny at all, please take a break. You can turn this off and come back to it. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, set it down, bring that arm down. Now, shifting that weight, and back. Shift forward, back, forward. So, that left heel, or right heel comes up, step back, forward, step, and back. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Now here comes that power shift. Send the hips back and in. Back. Sweep that arm and in. Power step back. Ten. Lift your left toe. Send the hips back. Three. Shift your weight. Two. And one. Now I'm going to rotate back to the camera. Left side, left hand down. Abs in tight. We're going to work a little bit on those quadriceps at the top of the leg, and we're going to add the arms. So first, let's start with the leg, the lower body portion. Feet are hip distance apart. I'm going to take that arm and leave it here for just a second as I lift my right leg up, bringing it down and up, shifting the weight to the left leg, abs in, chest proud. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, breathe. Six, five, four, three, two. Now, second set, you're going to add a push of that arm like an overhead press. It's coming up with the knee. If you feel off balance, putting the movement together, just stick with the lower body. 
So give me a fist, and now push, just like they're connected, elbow to knee, push it to the ceiling, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Set it down. Ooh, feel those legs? I do. All right, let's rotate around. Right hand holding tight. Left leg's coming up first. Arm stays to the side. So lift and lower. Top of that knee should be straight out in front of that hip. Lift, tall spine. So you can see my back from this direction. I'm nice and tall. Four more. Three, two. Now, hand faces front, make that fist. You're gonna push the knee and the elbow to the sky. Working together. Four, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, bring it down, take a break. Now rotate back to your countertop with both hands. We're gonna do some hamstring curls. So hold it onto the countertop, lift up tall, legs up a little wider. So you can see my legs are wider than my hips. I'm gonna curl my heel to my glute and bring it down and curl and down. So you feel the squeeze of the hamstrings as you try to get your heel to your glute. Side to side. You can rock that body just a little bit, but hold on your countertop. Ten, nine, shift the weight. Think about what you're doing, setting your feet back down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here, take a break. One more set of hamstring curls, abs and tight. Curl the heel, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it here, rotating back so that I can see you, so that your left hip is to the countertop again, holding on with your right hand so you don't go anywhere. You're gonna take those legs wide now, toes out, wide legs, abs in. We're gonna do a little bit of a squat, so it's really important you hold tight to that countertop, sending those hips down, not out back, down. Arm out to the side, drop down and lift. So it's a plie, legs come a little bit wider. You don't have to go very deep, because you're pumping the blood from that heart to those legs. Those are the big muscles in our body. Takes the blood out of the brain. So we want to be very careful when we're at home doing these. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now. Bring this feet a little closer together, hip distance apart still. Now a regular squat, so the hips go back a little further like you're sitting in that chair. You know when we do our sit to stand, you're holding on your countertop and the right arm is going to come out long. So send the hips back and down. Lengthen and down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to put it together. So you've got to think about where your feet are going to land. You're going plie for two, squat for two. Legs wide, toes out. One, two, and turn those toes forward, squat back. One. Two, a little faster, wide, one, two, together, one, two, last time, 
Y, plie, plie, closer together, squat, squat. Now we're rotating around. Same thing on this side. Now you can see where my back's aligned. Legs wide, toes out. So right hip to the countertop. Make sure that you're not so far away that you have to reach for that countertop. Arm out to the side, chest proud, plie. Knees and hips in alignment. Down, down. Squeeze those inner thighs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, bring those feet in, they're hip distance apart. That left arm's coming out front, hips back, sit in the chair, take it down, push. Hold on to your countertop. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, one. Now putting it together. So two out wide, two in that squat position. Here we go. Take it down. Plie for two. Feet closer together. Squat. Squat. Plie. One. Two. Closer. Take it back. Back. Wide. Down and up. Closer. Squat. Squat. Last time. One. Two. Closer together. Squat. One. Two. And rotate. Last little move. We're just going to work on that upper body. Those lower bodies need a little bit of a break right now. So just that upper body. I want you to rotate around and put your back, your hips up against your countertop. Okay? So you should have a fairly wide stance, keeping those legs, if you keep that body pushed up against the countertop, that's your stability. It's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to slip on you. Feet a little wider because that gives us a good wide sport stance. Arms nice and wide, squeezing the blades together. I want you to rotate those palms towards me and make circles to the front. We're going to work those shoulders. Get ready. Five. Four, three, two, circle back, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, palms up. Now tap your head, squeeze, bicep curls, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six. You're pushed up against that countertop. You shouldn't go anywhere. You're not holding on, but your body's holding on. Ten more. Squeeze. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now hold it here. Take those hands. Push back against that countertop, elbows bend, squeeze the blades together, open up your chest, and release. And let it go. One more time, hands on top of the countertop, squeeze the blade, open the chest, push forward slightly. Hold on, see my fingers, I'm holding on. And bring it around. Let's stretch it out just a little bit. So. Rotating around, I have my back to the camera again, hands on that countertop, left foot stays forward, right foot goes back, and push forward against your countertop, long line, all the way into your heels, feel that stretch. I hope you had some fun today, I hope you're enjoying everything that you can during this time, and you're staying safe and staying inside, push back. 
stretch it out. And forward. Take those hips up against the countertop. Take those arms behind. And push the blades together. Stand up tall. But keep those hips up against the countertop. That'll keep you from moving around. Look at your cabinets. And now palms on the count on the cabinets. Step back and push forward just to stretch everything that upper body. And then forearm down, forearm down, send the hips back. Walk forward. I'm going to rotate around. Take a nice deep breath in, everyone. Let it go. And I will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Stay inside. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.